Columbia University researchers just unveiled something that feels almost like science fiction, yet it's already real. They've developed a new kind of robot that doesn't just move or think independently. This machine can actually grow, heal, and even become stronger by consuming other robots. They call this breakthrough robot metabolism. In living creatures, metabolism is what allows us to eat, process energy, and repair our bodies. But here, the same principle is being applied to machines. The idea flips everything we know about robots on its head. Traditionally, robots are built as closed systems. You design them, you program them, and they stay exactly that way. If one breaks, a human has to step in and fix it. But these new prototypes are different. They're designed to adapt and repair themselves. At the core of this system is a building block called the truss link. It's basically a bar-shaped module, about 11 inches when contracted, but it can stretch to 17 inches, over 50% longer. Each end has magnetic connectors that can attach from multiple angles. Even better, the magnets are mounted in a way that lets them rotate freely, so they snap into place without perfect alignment. On its own, a single truss link isn't impressive. It just crawls forward and back, expanding and contracting like a piston. But when you combine them, things get fascinating. With just six links, the team formed multiple shapes. First a triangle, then a three-pointed star, then something they called a diamond with tail. That shape could then fold up into a full 3D structure known as a tetrahedron. Here's where it gets wild. That tetrahedron can actually eat another truss link it finds, integrate it into its own body, and transform into a ratchet tetrahedron. That added part acts like a walking stick, making the robot more stable and over 66% faster when crawling downhill. Yes, they tested it, measuring movement on a 10-degree slope, and after consuming a link, the robot was two-thirds faster. The researchers didn't just stop at cool demos. They built strict rules for what qualifies as true robot metabolism. First, the robot must grow or repair using only its own abilities. Second, the only external resources allowed are energy and raw materials. In this case, the energy comes from tiny batteries inside each link, and the material is simply more truss links. No hidden human help, no extra tricks. To prove it, the team set up a 13-foot test track filled with ramps and obstacles. The robots were guided by a custom control system, sometimes manual, sometimes automated. They tested everything from basic self-assembly to survival after damage. For example, they let a triangle-shaped robot fall off a one-foot ledge. It smashed apart on impact, yet reassembled itself and kept crawling forward. The same happened with a star-shaped robot. Even the diamond with tail robot, which completely split apart, managed to reconnect after a few minutes of crawling around. The researchers also explored something inspired by biology, programmed cell death. In nature, cells sometimes shut down on purpose to protect the organism. Here, they simulated that by draining a truss link's battery until it collapsed, pulled in its magnets, and rolled away. The rest of the robot then replaced it, finding another link, attaching it, and continuing onward. It's basically a robotic organ transplant. They even tested assisted growth, where one robot acted like a crane to help another assemble into a more advanced shape. One tetrahedron reached down, lifted a flat triangle star structure, and turned it into a full tetrahedron. Then, the new robot walked off on its own. This shows robots can literally help each other grow into more complex forms. Now, if you're watching this thinking, okay, amazing science, but how does this help me right now? You're not alone. That's why we created the AI Income Blueprint. It's a free guide showing seven ways people are already using AI to build side income streams. No tech background required. You can even automate most of it. The link is in the description Grab it while it's still free. Back to the research. What makes this so powerful is modularity. In biology, life is endlessly adaptable because it reuses simple building blocks, amino acids, again and again. These engineers are trying to copy that strategy, but with mechanical modules. Each truss link has multiple degrees of freedom thanks to actuators and detachable magnets. 
They're powered by small lithium polymer batteries, controlled by microcontrollers with Wi-Fi. Right now, each unit costs about $200 in parts, but the design is simple enough that anyone could replicate it using off-the-shelf components. Performance-wise, the results were surprising. A single link crawling on its own was actually faster than a triangle structure, which struggled with balance. The tetrahedron moved steadily by flipping itself over, while the ratchet tetrahedron was the fastest overall. But it also had stability issues, drifting sideways or rotating as it moved. In simulations, all the robots performed better than in real life, since digital surfaces had smoother friction than the real carpet in the lab. For instance, triangles looked much more efficient in simulation, but in reality, they often got stuck. The team also ran thousands of simulations to see how often robots could assemble themselves without guidance. The diamond with tail appeared in about 44% of tests, while the triangle star combo showed up only 9% of the time. The most advanced shapes, like tetrahedrons, were extremely rare without structured environments. This highlights how much the surroundings, ramps, obstacles, ledges, affect whether robotic metabolism can succeed. So, what does all this mean for the future? Lead researcher Hod Lipson says it clearly. In the last decade, AI minds have advanced rapidly, but robot bodies have stayed static. Machines can now process data, make decisions, even write code. But physically, they're fragile, hard to repair, and almost impossible to recycle. Biological life succeeds because it's modular and self-sustaining. For robots to be truly independent, fixing themselves in space, surviving disasters, or maintaining infrastructure, they need the same traits. And yes, it feels like science fiction. Self-healing, self-replicating machines sound like the start of a dystopian movie. Lipson admits that. But he also points out a reality. If we rely on machines for space exploration, defense, or disaster recovery, who's going to repair them when humans can't? Future upgrades could include sensors, cameras, microphones, magnetometers, so links can see and make decisions locally. Right now, they're basically blind, moving only by pre-programmed commands. With sensors, they could truly decide when to connect, detach, or crawl on their own. Of course, these robots are still in the early stages. A tetrahedron is a huge leap conceptually, but it's nothing like a humanoid or even Boston Dynamics spot. Controlling them is also tricky, since their shape constantly changes. Still, it points toward a future where machines aren't just smart, but physically alive in a mechanical sense. Robots that can sustain themselves, evolve, and maybe one day form ecosystems without human oversight. And while most people think AI and robotics are future tech, the truth is, it's already happening. People are quietly using AI to create income streams today. If you want to learn how they're doing it, without quitting your job or needing advanced skills, check out the free AI income blueprint in the description. That's where we'll wrap it up for now. What do you think? Exciting, terrifying, or both? Drop your thoughts in the comments Hit the like button if you found this fascinating, and don't forget to subscribe for more breakthroughs like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.